My wife gave me a beautiful knife as a Christmas present. I want to make a display stand for it. I'm going to use the Shaper Trace to uh, make a digital file of the outline of the knife. Um, so I'm going to show you a better way to, uh, to trace this thing. First off, just as preparation, I put a little double-sided tape and a couple of chunks of clay on the knife to hold it down to the paper. Now, the normal way to do this would just be to hold a pen freehand and go around it, but that's got a couple of problems. It's hard to hold the pen straight, and then you've also got the barrel of the pen would make your outline a little bit bigger than that of the knife. So how do we fix that? We fix that through a gadget I made called, I call it the tracer, and it's got this little uh, feeler and the pen is lined up just on the same plane as the feeler. So I'm going to take that feeler, run it around the knife, this is now in real time, and make a tracing. Now what you'll see is that the tracing is not perfect you know, if I was doing artwork with it, it would look terrible. You'll see that in a minute because it goes outside the line. But that tracer tool keeps that pen from going inside the line, inside the, the, the contour of the knife. And because of that, I can use the capability of the Shaper Trace software to actually make myself a pretty clean file, even though, you know, you're going to see that my pen work looks terrible. By the way, I'm going to have a build video on this tra tracer in about a week. So here's the outline. You know, it looks bad, right? It's got the squiggles on the outside of it. It just doesn't look very clean. But I'm going to take it into the um, Shaper Trace um, software and fix all that. The Trace software lets you choose center line or outline. Here I used outline because I can select the outside of that pen uh, line and delete it and just leave myself with the inside of the pen line and um, a very clean file. I'm going to save that and it'll go right over to my Shaper Origin for cutting. Without going to the computer, this is just on the Shaper Origin. I'm placing the file, going to cut it out. I will have a build video on the tracer in about a week, so this is the time I ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can get that build video along with the free plans if you want to make one of these tracer tools. Um, so I'm going to show you in a second. I, it, the file isn't, you know, critically perfect. It's pretty good. It's got this little bump in it. There were a couple things like that. You can see just to the right of the circle, there's a little bump. And, you know, when I uh, look at what cutout I actually did on this, I can actually feel the little bump right there. So, you know, I'll go back and clean that up, you know, to do the final version of it. But it's pretty good, and I think better than I could have done a, by freehand tracing, or B, by, you know, kind of starting with the computer. So I think the Shaper Trace really does a nice job on this, and I'm looking forward to using it more with my fancy new tracer tool. Anyhow, I remind you again, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back on the channel pretty soon. Thanks very much. Bye.